It was under him that they signed the uh, National Defense Authorization Act. Under Bush, they only signed the Patriot Act, one and two. All right, which means they can spy on you or whatever. But on under him, they can indefinitely detain you without case, trial you, put you in one of these black sites or, or uh, concentration camps or, or sites where they take you like a safe house, like they show you in the movie Safe House, somewhere around the world, torture the hell out of you and make you disappear and never exist. They can actually have the right to kill you anywhere in the world, man. Under under Obama, they sign legislation like that, man. So he gonna be a cruel lord, man. And he gonna destroy a lot of you people, man, because that's what he's created to do. To destroy, all right. And the Egyptians will I give over into the hand of a cruel lord, and a fierce king shall rule over them, saith the Lord, the Lord of hosts. That's right. And he gonna be fierce, man, when he bring forth this martial law and implement it on you guys. He's gonna destroy a lot of you people, man. All right, he's gonna destroy a lot of you people. Okay. All right. So. All right. So let's go back to. Luke. Luke 21. Luke 21 and 11. And great earthquakes shall be in diverse places and famines and pestilences. Which that's happening all over around the world, man. And it's going to be major pestilence out here, man. That's going to kill a lot of you people, man as well as famine, okay? These are gonna be methods for them to bring in and, and force you people, all right, to take that chip, all right? That's why they pushing so hard with this Obamacare and this whole legislation, man. They wanna get you people to accept that, man, okay? And fearful sights and great signs shall be from heaven. Those fearful sights is talking about these terrorist attacks, man. Greek word folk, folk, phobitron. Okay. All right. That's all your terrorist attacks, man. What you see happening in the states, around the world, the Lord prophesied that those are fearful sights, man. And great signs in heaven is referring to the, the chariot sightings. All right. When I'm talking about chariots, I'm talking about so-called UFO sightings. Um, which those are the chariots of salvation. Those are the, the vehicles that the angels and the Lord are gonna come back and, and save the elect with. And then you can have um, solar, lunar uh, eclipse, certain comets, certain constellations, stars, comets, all those things that's happening in the heavens. Those are great signs in the heavens, man. All right. Luke 21 and 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. Backing up that statement. And upon the earth, distress of nations with perplexity. And that's what we're seeing. Upon the earth, all nations are in some form of distress, either economic, all right, uh, physical distress due to war and conflicts and battles, all right. And that's happening all around the world. There's distress of nations, man. Perplex means puzzling or at once wits ends. And all these leaders around the world that's trying to establish peace and 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 trying to re-establish some type of solidity or firmness or um you know order amongst their respectable sovereign powers, they can't do that. Why is that? Because the Lord prophesied that there'll be distress upon nations on the earth with perplexity. The word perplexity means a puzzling or at one's wit's end. All right. The sea and the waves roaring. The seas and the waves roaring is talking about these nations protesting, man. All right. So the Lord knew about these nations going to be protesting in their countries off the fact that they're suffering, being distressed. Verse 26, man's hearts failing them for fear. 
and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth for the powers of heaven shall be shaken the powers of the heaven is talking about the leaders of these governments they're shaking man okay mark 13 and 8 it says for nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be earthquakes and diverse places and there shall be famines and troubles these are the beginnings of sorrows okay that's the time we in the beginning of sorrows okay we'll get back to that day of work before I go into the apocrypha that's right. Zephaniah chapter 1 verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is near and hasteth greatly, even the voice of the day of the Lord. The mighty man shall cry there bitterly. That's the elites. We broke that down. That day is a day of wrath, a day of destruction, a day of trouble and distress, excuse me, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess. A day of clouds and thick darkness, okay? A day of the trumpet and alarm against the fenced cities and against the high towers. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. That's right. So all these nations and all these people that don't know what's happening is because they're sinners, man. All right? All right, and they're not of the Lord. That's why they don't understand what's going on. That's why they walk like blind men. And the distress is just going to increase on you people, man. Especially when they bring in this chip. All right, and they want to bring it in by the sword, man. They don't want you people to accept it willingly. Which they see it now, you people, because a lot of you people are hip to what's, what, what the Obamacare and Affordable Care Act is. They don't want to partake in it, man. So they're going to have to force it on you people, man, through martial law. Okay, which that's in the Bible, which we're going to get that, man. All right, because that's going in the time we're going into, man. It's going to get bad out here, man. All right, it's going to get terrible. That's why early in the lesson we covered about the name of the Lord. That's going to be a, a stronghold or a tower, strong tower for the righteous, the, the, the elect, the just, the meek, to call upon for deliverance. So they, they won't be just touched and destroyed like these people are going to be out here in these streets, man. All right. So it said that they should walk like blind men. All right. Zephaniah 1 and 17. And I will bring distress upon men that they should walk like blind men because they have sinned against the Lord. And their blood shall be poured out as dust and their flesh as dung. That's how much death is going to be out here, man. All right. Neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them. In the day of the Lord's wrath. So it don't matter how much money you have. Like these, like where I live at is mainly like, well I live in a, a more poor area. But you have areas here in Fort Mill where these people are financially pretty stable. Mainly Caucasians. And you might have a few Jakes. But it's because they part of like the military or they used to play uh, professional sports. So they live in pretty delicious, all right, or at ease. But the thing is, when, when that dollar collapsed, when the stock market crashed, all their riches, all that money they have ain't going to be able to deliver them, all right, from what's coming down the pipe, man. These soldiers don't want no money, man. All right, these foreign troops that's hired, all right, to help, uh, help bring in this martial law these Russian troops these uh, troops from all around the world that's training with American troops on the soil alright okay they set up to to basically bring death man and they're gonna bring death alright severely on you people man and they all gonna be justified through the executive orders that they already established to bring this upon you people so your goal your silver shall be able to deliver them in the day of the Lord's wrath. But the land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy. Talking about the missiles. 
for he shall make a speedy residence of all them that 